Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use select keys in SpyLab. In the previous tutorial, uh, uh, we have seen how to use if else statement, how to use if else ladder. So, uh, when we are having a number of conditions and when we use if else ladder, our code become a little bit difficult to understand. So, select keys actually allow us to combine multiple conditional branch in a simple way. So let's see how to use select case. So first of all I'm going to create a simple variable. Let's say a this variable having one value of two. Now I will write select and the variables value which need to be used in select I will put it here. So select a. Now here I will write different cases. So the, if the value of a is 1, then I'm going to print 1. If value a of variable a is 2, then I'm going to print 2. If value is 3, then I'm going to print 3. And so on. So let's execute this program. So before uh, executing it, we need to save it. So let's save it. Let's say two. Save, and now click on this button. So if you can see here, our this program is executed, and the variable's value is two. So this case is matched, and the corresponding statement is executed, which has printed two. Now, now just think. What will happen if we are having a value which does not match with any of these cases? So let's save it. Try to execute it again. So if you can see here, there is no message. There is no output. So what we want, we want that when the specified value does not match any of the cases, we should print some error message. So here, when we write, uh, we write, we will write one more case. That is else errors. Not a good value. That's it. Save it. Execute it again. So now you can see, okay, when none of these cases matched, else will be executed. So this is the simple usage of select case in Scilab. Thank you very much for watching.